In this video, we are going to do a dash cam vlogging tour around Silverdale. This is the second Silverdale tour. We're doing it summer 2022, so stay tuned. What's up everybody? It's Cassandra Lopez with the Living in Bremerton channel. If you're new to the channel, you're going to want to go ahead and subscribe. This channel is all about living in Bremerton and surrounding areas. So whether you're coming here for the first time or you've been here for a while, click subscribe, tap that little bell so you're notified every time I drop a new video. And did you know that you can contact me directly? This is my cell phone and my email, call, text, email, however you want to reach out to me. And uh, I'll be sure to support you when you're relocating to Bremerton. Okay, Silverdale. So we're coming through Silverdale on Silverdale Way, right at the roundabout at Chico and Newberry Hill. So that's the very south part of Silverdale Way, heading north. So this takes us, um, so on the right hand side here, all these are waterfront properties on Dyes Inlet. And this takes us into Old Town Silverdale, turning down Byron Street. A lot of construction going on through here that has been going on for a couple of years now. Waterfront park here on the right hand side. So uh, let's see, lots to do here. There is a, a boating pier so you can motor or sail your boat up to the pier. You can take rowing lessons so they have a, a rowing team just a community rowing team plus the kids park there's a covered barbecue area so you can reserve that this is bay street literally the tippy tippy top of dyson Light right here Looks like tides out just a little bit. This is Buckland Hill. I forget what day of the week I did this tour. Traffic looks like it's pretty awesome. Sometimes if you're driving around Silverdale on a Saturday, it can be pretty hairy. Um, Silverdale is geographically pretty small, but population-wise pretty dense. Um, it is not its own township. It's unincorporated. Well, let me rephrase it. It is its own township, but it's unincorporated, so it doesn't have its own police station or anything like that. Just turned onto Myrie. So it doesn't have its own municipalities. Um, it it uh, provides a lot of its services at a county level, county zoning, county jurisdiction. Heading up Bridgetop. So Ridgetop is one of the main roads through Silverdale. Um, intersects at the bottom at Silverdale Way, and then comes up this hill and goes all the way around. goes all the way around and intersects with Silverdale again uh, a little bit farther north a couple miles up so makes a big horseshoe shape highly residential up here there's a couple of commercial uh, properties like um, there's a gas station there's a storage unit there's a vet so if you have four-legged friends there's a vet service up here but for the most part, all residential, um, all the neighborhoods on the right-hand side of the road, uh, so that would be the east side of the road, are single-family homes. There's a couple of like townhouse-style neighborhoods in there, but for the most part, um, single-family residents. And then on the left side of the road, which would be the west side, are all the apartments. So it's literally just apartment after apartment, like boom, 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 boom. So really, really dense up here. They put in all of these roundabouts about two, three years ago because traffic was so awful. Um, and there's two stoplights at the bottom of the hill from where we came from. Uh, 
ones at Ridgetop Middle School um, and then one directly after that. And so especially during school hours, like if you got stuck at that light, you're backed up halfway up the hill. So they um, widened the road, put in two lanes at those lights, um, and then put in all these roundabouts to keep traffic flowing. So headed back down. A lot of these communities up here, kind of like 80s construction. Um, a couple of the apartment buildings are a little bit newer. I know there's one new construction neighborhood up there that is done. Um, it's a gated community. Those would be like the newest ones, but for the most part, kind of around 80s, 90s. A little bit newer than uh, Bremerton by a decade. So turning south here on Silverdale Way. It's, it's probably really hard to tell because there's so many trees, but this is quite built out. Like you turn right or left in any one of these roads here and you're in a neighborhood. So dog park, skate park on the right here. And then uh, right there, there's the parking lot. And then we're headed down. We're gonna drive underneath Highway 303. So 303 terminates in Silverdale with the Highway 3, Highway 303 slash Highway 3 junction. That's a mouthful. So just uh, now we're in the lower part of Silverdale. So geographically, Silverdale's just a big basin. It's so this is the bottom of the basin and then surrounding the town is are the hills and those are where all the residences are. So like we were on the east side of Silverdale just now when we were up at Ridgetop. And if you keep going kind of in the direction we're going now, it takes you to the west side of Silverdale, which we'll, we'll head through and I'll show you. Also residential, but through the basin part, it's just totally commercial. Pretty much any kind of commerce or industry you can think of, Silverdale has it. It's one of the main shopping hubs on the whole peninsula. It's really busy during the holidays. There's people who come down from you know, Squim in Port Angeles, like the Olympic Peninsula to go shopping here. We're on Randall Way, intersecting with Buckland Hill, heading west of the hill. Oh no, I lied. Sorry, Anderson Hill. This is Anderson Hill. Buckland Hill turns into Anderson Hill at Silverdale Way, if that's not confusing. CK High School on the right. Um, followed by CK Middle School. These schools just underwent a major renovation when all of the schools were shut down for the COVID. Um, the districts just took it as an opportunity to redo, redo the schools, which had kind of been on the docket. They just were trying to find the right time. And they figured, well, nobody's here. Let's do it now. So they've spent the last couple of years really redoing those schools. Um, all of the schools in Kitsap County, I'm sorry, all of the schools in Central Kitsap School District got at least a facelift. Some of them, like CK High, got a major renovation. So we're on Anderson Hill Road heading west, taking a left on Airport Apex. If you were to go straight right there, that would take you up to a tiny little airport. So a public soccer field there. So if you have kiddos in soccer, that's the A field that they would play at. Kitsap Humane Society is on this road. Um, so if you're looking for a pet to adopt or if you're looking to a place, looking for a place to volunteer, um, it's right there on the right. Silverdale uh, Waste Management Landfill on the right there as well. So now this is uh, turned into Dickey Road. 
that is the name of this road. A lot of <laughs> a lot of roads in Kitsap County actually um, will just change names mid-road. So you're on one road and now it's called another road. This is Newberry Hill heading down the hill. This is a really, really large hill, as you can see. But you can typically see the water straight ahead. There it is. That's Dye's Inlet. Driving over Provost, still on Newberry Hill. There's a freeway, Highway 3 South on ramp right there. Another Highway 3 South on ramp right there. And then a Highway 3 North on ramp to the left there. And we're coming back down to that roundabout where we started. So we're going to kind of overlap a couple of times here. Headed north on Silverdale Way through Chico once again. Well, not through Chico. Chico is south of that roundabout, but headed in that area. Passing by Old Town this time, we'll just go straight. These vlogging tours are just a bunch of making loops over and over, showing you the scene. So this light here is Silverdale Way on Buckland Hill. It's one of the larger intersections, uh, followed by Silverdale Way and Ridgetop, another one of the larger intersections. It's at malls on the left hand side. Silverdale Way and Myrie intersection right here. Crossing over Mickleberry. Mickleberry Road it has a Costco, Trader Joe's. Heading up the hill here on Myrie, there's a Lowe's on the right hand side and then St. Michael Medical Center right there on the left hand side. Completely redone, renovated hospital. And at the stoplight right here, you can't see it because these trees hide it, but their helo pad is right there on the corner. And I was stopped there one time and a helicopter took off from the Gila path like 20 feet from me. It was quite the experience. I was definitely not expecting it. So Myrie and Buckland Hill here at the very top of Silverdale. You take a left, you're in Bremerton. Take a right, you go down into Silverdale. We'll get ready to wrap up here at Buckland Hill and Silverdale Way. If you like that tour, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Tap that little bell so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Be sure to share this one with a friend and the channel. And be sure to reach out if there's anything I can do to support your relocation to Bremerton. Bye for now.